Hi, welcome to Cute Things by Rebecca. I'm Rebecca, and today I'm going to attempt, I have not even tried this yet, um, a double zipper bag. Just a plain double zipper. Um, I just loaded it up on my machine after playing around in software, so I don't even know if the steps are right, but if it is, this is going to be the tutorial. If not, we'll make another one sometime. Anyways, um, materials I think that we'll need, um, two zippers, um, your front main fabric, your back, and some lining, um, tear away. So I don't have the dimensions because, um, this is just a trial at the moment. If I figure out the dimensions, I will write them up in a PDF. Anyways, I'm going to go to the machine and run the first step, which should be a placement step for both zippers. Okay, so that was step one on the machine, placement steps for your bag and your zippers. So you want to line up your zippers in those spaces. And um, put the teeth on that center lines on both of those. Um, secure it with tape. And then run the next step, which is a step to secure this zipper down. And then the third step will secure this zipper down. Step two just secured that zipper down. Step three is going to secure the second zipper. Okay, so the zippers are on. Now remove the hoop from your machine. Turn it over. Grab a piece of your lining and you want to place your lining, um, I'm going to say pretty side down and I'm guessing at this time because I've never made one like this before. So um, you're going to secure it with tape but go ahead and make sure that the lining goes past this bottom portion so th the next step is going to secure secure it on that in the front so I'm gonna go ahead and tape this real quick and um, show you the front side here in a second so you have the lining on the back um, see how it's tucked up I secured it with tape so um, now the front side, you want to take your bottom portion of your bag and just uh, butt it up to your zipper here. I'm using vinyl, so we're going to do that. Um, and then run the next step, which I have to look at the machine, but, well, I obviously cut that crooked. Let's see if this side's better. Yep, okay. So um, it's going to run a, a line here. To secure the lining on and the front on. Okay, that secured the front on and the lining. So now go ahead and take your lining and take all the tape off of it and then just flip it down. Kind of pull it a little bit and then um, put some tape there to hold it down in the next step is going to just run half a bag just to secure this lining down. So that secured the lining on and secured this so it doesn't move around. So this is where I question all my rest of my steps I'm trying to figure it out in my head. Turn it over. I think the lining goes on next on the back. So grab a piece of lining fabric, face it down, and um, line it up to the bottom of that top bottom zipper. Face down, be sure to cover the whole area. And then take another piece of lining and kind of overlap it a little bit. Right up there. And then Secure it with tape, flip it over, then put this on in between. And um, I'm thinking that might work. It might not though. I'm gonna try it right now. 
Okay, so I flipped it over and put that on, and now I'm going to try to run those next steps and see if that works or not. Okay, so it secured this onto the zippers. Um, now I'm going to turn it over, and hopefully when I flip this top part down, it was enough to um, cover the whole bag. That would be cool because they didn't measure anything. Oh, I think we're good. Yay. Okay, so now you want to... Oh, I think that's going to work. I'm just thinking in my head out loud. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to secure this down so it stays put. And then... Hang on, let me look at the machine and see what the next thing is. Oh. The next thing is some tabs. If we're going to use tabs, I am going to go get my stuff to go make a tab. So hang on just a second and I'll uh, get that and put some tabs in there somewhere. So there's my placement for the tab. I'm going to just go ahead and make a little tab right there. Make sure your raw edges are facing out and then go ahead and run the next one which will um, tack that down okay um so I put my tab there this bag has an option for top tabs too if you'd like to use that for a cross body bag um, so I'm not gonna do that so I skip 9 and 10 on the machine so step 11 is take your main back panel and turn it right side down over the entire bag. This is going to stitch a half a rectangle. I'm hoping I'm doing this right, but that's what it's going to do. And um, I'll show you what that looks like in just a second. Don't do that yet. Open your zippers. Make sure they're open and you can clean up your zipper area now if you like to do that. So, see how it did half the thing? So now you want to turn it over on the back. And um, I cleaned up my zipper probably too soon. I don't know if that's gonna stay or not, but we'll see. Um, your last lining piece, take it pretty side down, covering the whole thing. And um, it's going to run the top part and leave a little opening so we can turn through here. Okay, so it's all done. I don't know if it's done right or not. I'm going to take it out of the hoop and cut it and trim it and then turn it through here and hopefully we have a bag with some lining in both pockets. I will let you know. Okay, so when I cut the bag out, arm or leave the zippers long because when you turn sometimes they pull and I leave this spot here so you can sew it or glue it um, the lining closed after you turn it so I'm gonna turn it now yay fingers crossed wow look at that so it's all done you think I have my pockets right look Look, look, I did it. I figured it out. Anyways, so there's a little one pocket here in your top. Look, all done. On the first try and everything. I'm so impressed with myself. Anyways, once in a while I can get it right on the first time. Not usually. So I think this is a fun, just double zipper bag to use up some fun vinyl oh, I just really like it anyways thanks for watching